first of all, how are you guys today? How are we? We yeah. are on we, cloud nine. We are on cloud nine. We're like we are floating. Yeah, this is like we're excited. Um, it just seems like unreal, and um, it's an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. Too. I keep saying, I'm going to cry. She's like, I'm going to cry. Like, yeah. <laughs> like y'all are fresh off a popular talk show. I know we can't say where you just came from, but, like, y'all just did a popular talk show. Like, this is really. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a lot. So. <laughs> it's a lot really fast. Yeah. I'm yeah. just really excited. I've been looking for Tracy for the past, what, <laughs> how many years? 20? <laughs> no, maybe. Started. Like 20 years. 20 years. Uh, I tweeted a picture of us with Santa. We were sitting on Santa Claus's lap back in the day I took a picture with Santa Claus and I posted that on my Twitter and I said can anybody help me find Tracy you I'm too looking, yes <laughs> you too I said I'm looking for Tracy Spencer and nobody could find her for like year my kids were babies they're they're pretty much grown now yeah and um I went to a party it was Shantae Moore's uh, birthday party and Shauna was at the party and she said, I found her. This was like a few months ago. Wait, <laughs> she we said, gotta, I found we Tracy gotta, Spencer. Can we, can we pull, is there an extra? Yeah, right. she yeah, yeah. Shauna said, I found Tracy Spencer. I'm like, really? She's on Instagram. I'm like, she is? So that's how we reconnected. I was like low key following people on Instagram. <laughs> she had like this, this page that didn't even page. look like it would be her. She had a Finsta. Yeah, yeah. Right? A Finsta? Yeah, yeah, Finsta. <laughs> oh, were you just lurking? Yeah, do nothing else? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I was a lurker. All right, so let, let me just give a little backstory. So, Shauna, so is it Mangatal or? Mangatal. Mangatal. Okay. <laughs> Mangatal. So, you know, super executive management, like, okay, so what is your role in life? Like, I know that. <laughs> for years, you've worked for Michael Jackson as yeah. his personal assistant during the Dangerous Period, and you uh, were you assisted us in getting Howard Hewitt on the show and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So you know, you and I have been friends forever. Yes, y you've been an actor, like you've been connected yeah. in acting and whatnot. You've been in so many movies that we've seen that didn't even realize. So how did you know? How did you find Tracy? Well, when I was working with Michael Jackson, I actually worked for his manager, Sandy Gallon. Sandy Gallon. So right. I've been in music management mm -hmm. all my career right and um, after leaving Michael's management company I went to work for Quadri Elamine at Southpaw Entertainment and mm -hmm. he said I want you to work with Tracy Spencer um, and this was in 1998 right so I was brought in to work specifically with Tracy on her last album um, on Capitol Records called Tracy right. and I was her day-to-day -day manager and you know just doing her scheduling and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to now, <laughs> Tracy reaches out to me on Instagram. I didn't know why because Whew, I had been looking know. for her too <laughs> for decades. Did you not? Did you know that we were looking for you? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> like, like, Everybody, why would you do that to us? <laughs> That's what no, I, I asked. Understand. I didn't do it like to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a, no. But it also proves me that one can't disappear. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Was, yeah. How right. do you disappear? Yeah, yeah like yeah. we want to know that's that too, so we know. can pull this off. Exactly. Right? Yeah. If you like want to live episode. off the grid, then come that's... hang out with me. Yeah. <laughs> it is like a daylight. It's a daylight. I feel like I'm on a daylight. Like secrets. Yeah. Tracy <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> She's been... Um. Okay. Like, let's have it. <laughs> oh my God. Where the hell have you been? Um. The unsung people gonna be mad. <laughs> oh Ooh, we got an exclusive. Oh, we got an exclusive. Oh my God! You know, <laughs> she's absolutely right. Aww. There's gonna be a lot of very angry people after this. Interview. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, well. You are where you're appreciated, but please. No, I mean question. we we could, we could, we could stand here five or six times. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um. Let's see. After the Tracy album, well, even before the Tracy album, the Capitol was going through so many different changes. Mm -hmm. Like at one point, they got rid of the the black music department, yeah, and kept me and wanted me to represent hmm, black radio, all pop radio, <laughs> yeah, all <laughs> just right. yeah, everybody. everybody. Right. I mean, it was literally like a ghost town on like the eighth and ninth floor, which is where. The black department was so i remember i'd go down there and be like wow the lights are out like this is so <laughs> weird and i was like 17 18 years old then and so i ended up actually recording like two different albums one with dallas austin one with shakir from um queen latifah's camp mm -hmm. i spent some time in new york both of those records got um shelved but i did notice that 
some stuff has been leaked on YouTube okay. and someone's like selling a mixtape for like two G's of some <laughs> some Tracy Spencer wow. unreleased yeah. music. Wow. It's yeah. Yeah. Sucker like me would have brought that too. <laughs> 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 and so when when uh once I got with Quadri, you know, he was trying to reassure me, like, stick it out, it's gonna be all good, let's do another record. And um, I, that's when um, Roy Lott was the president of Capitol. Mm -hmm. And he had mentioned Soul Shock and Carlin and said, I think they would be great to help you put this record together. Okay. So we la literally sat for months, like in the studio, just creating and coming up with ideas, and they pretty much did that entire album and helped me A&R the record. Okay. Um, so, after the record, you know, you go on tour. I wasn't having any fun. It became, I went from a point where I had a lot of family support to now that I was getting older, I was now 21, that um, my family wasn't traveling with me. My dad was having some health issues so he couldn't go on the road. And my siblings were all, you know, doing things in their own lives. So it was like a big transition for me. And then you also have a lot of, uh, you meet a lot of interesting people who wanna take advantage of you in the industry as a female. Now they're like, oh, her dad's not around or her brother's not around. Yeah. And, yeah. and it got very uncomfortable, mm -hmm. to be very honest. And so, yeah, I wasn't having any fun. And I remember having a conversation with my mom and I just said, I'm having anxiety, I'm like having panic attacks, like, oh, what am I gonna do? And she was like, I always told you, when you're not having fun, get out. Just get out, take a step that. back mm -hmm. for your mental health. Like, she was like, come home. So I went home for a little bit, being in the country, home playing with Iowa. Oh, oh wow, that's how you disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 